G'day everyone, today we're going to unbox a LEGO Education Spike Prime kit if you're interested in seeing what's inside this new and improved LEGO Robotics kit, stick around. Okay, let's uh, cut it open and let's see what, what we have. All right, so we have an element card. This one looks a little bit bent. All right, looks like it's a, um, uh, it's just instructions on installing the, um, the Spike Prime Hub battery. Uh, and it's good, got the good Lego styling without the um, uh, too much wordy information, but it's pretty simple. You install the battery, go to the website, find the software. Easy and straightforward. See the new element card uh, with all the compartments and all the pieces laid out. Get a good number, um, uh, a good count of the number of pieces. And also, uh, it's useful for when your students are sorting through uh, the kits and making sure that they have everything that they need. Uh, it's also very useful in case you get mixed, um, mixed kits. So uh, when you separate them out again, uh, then um, uh, then you can. Uh, put them back together with the right number of pieces. It's very nice. Right, so we've got the stickers, just like the Wii Do 2 and the latest Wii EV3 kits. Uh, these stickers stick on the side of our kits. Let's do that now. Okay, so the stickers are stuck. Uh, what really uh, interests me now is that um, the element tray is now split into two halves. I guess that means that uh, you won't need to worry about kids uh, lifting a big tray out and uh, accidentally tipping them over. I've had that happen a few times, definitely designed by someone who's taught a few of these classes. Looking inside the box now, the USB cable. Uh, which is great because uh, with we do too we didn't have wired connections uh, and sometimes the Bluetooth connections can be a little bit uh, unstable so right here is the, um, the spike prime hub it's very cool Nice. We'll play with this later. Time to sort out the pieces. Oh my goodness, I am I'm just really impressed with this by the way. So in the past you would have had to uh, open all the pieces up and then find out where all the pieces went by looking through the element card. And I was trying to do that just then, but then I realized that for Spike Prime, each bag has a number on it that is um, corresponding to the number of the actual compartment that it's supposed to go in. And that means that we're going to save a lot of time with setting this up. I, I actually planned to do this, um, uh, planned a lot of time to do this, but it looks like it's going to be really, really easy. Alright, uh, looks like these are uh, unnumbered bags, are just parts that go underneath. Where do these pieces go? Oh, there are some mixed pieces. This 11 beam. Don't we have enough 11 beams? We have four.
No, we have four 11 beams. Are these spares? Are these all spares? Okay, so now we've got a kit all set up. Took me around about 10 minutes, maybe less, um, because I, I spent a little bit of time just looking at different pieces. Um, but it's super easy to set up compared to something like We Do 2 or EV3. Um, uh, just having the bags numbered and uh, each bag dedicated to one compartment has just saved me so much time uh, to sort this out. And um, if you had um, five or ten of these kits, um, you'd be able to sort these out in under an hour compared to um, We Do Too, which would normally take you a lot more time uh, looking through the pieces. Uh, some things to point out, uh, the pieces are still uh, multicolored, so it's a little bit hard to get used to in the start, okay? So uh, if you're used to sorting your pieces based on color, it's a little bit harder to get used to, but um, you will get used to the pieces. So uh, here we have uh, whoops, all the lift arms in one section, then we have all the gears, pulleys in one section, we have all the angled lift arms, angled beams in one section. Here uh, we have these biscuit pieces, which I've heard a lot about. I'm going to definitely uh, experiment with these later on. Um, and these uh, angled connectors. Next we have uh, all of our axles and uh, we've got these uh, ball and socket joint axles as well. Uh, these are new. Uh, we can't wait to see what these are for. And some more, more axle extenders, angled axle extenders as well. Uh, we have connectors over here. Then we have uh, system bricks over here. This one is different. This is not a simple system brick. This one has um, cross holes in it, so be able to um, uh, put axles through it. Uh, and potentially connect it with more Technic pieces. So still have some system bricks, um, which is nice if you're moving up from uh, Weedoo 2. You'd be able to um, play with some system bricks. Uh, and here we've got some Lego figures. Lego minifigures, we have two. Two Lego minifigures uh, and some plates. What I'm really excited about is underneath uh, these trays, we have um, our motors. And you see here, uh, we have uh, some symbols uh, in front of them, um, in front of the rotation of the of the motor, which suggests that uh, these are regulated motors. So uh, it would also register the angle at which they're turning, unlike in We Do Too, which uh, is sort of just um, sending power to the motor uh, and not recording the angle. So this uh, this is interesting. Uh, the motor also has a cross hole on the other side, which means that it can um, you can put an axle straight through it to turn. It's cool. Nice little detail is that um, you can fold up the cable flush towards the motor uh, because of this little um, indentation. It's a very nice little thought. Uh, I have to test this out to see if it is uh, stronger or weaker than the, um, than the motors in the other kits. Here's another variation of the motor. It looks larger than the other motor. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually stronger. And um, again, we're going to need to experiment with this in order to find out. The USB cable. This USB cable, I would assume, uh, is for data transfer. Um, and there is a sticker here on the hub that says it's a 5 volt DC um, as well. So you might be charging with this cable as well, uh, which would be great because the, um, uh, the other kits uh, you need a separate charger. Uh, it would be good if we can charge through USB. Uh, I'd have to test that out. So let's see about that. All right. More exciting bits. We've got these massive um, beam frames. Um, th this was going to make it really easy to make larger models really, really quickly. These yellow ones are super exciting. Um, they look more like a breadboard from Arduino, doesn't it? It's, um, uh, it's, it gives you lots of potential to um, create these larger models uh, really, really quickly. 
not have to build them up from all these small pieces. The new wheels, doesn't look like the um, the tires can um, are meant to be detached. But I really do like the, um, the smooth rubber. It makes them a bit easier to maintain, uh, not worry too much about um, bits and pieces getting stuck in between tires, uh, tire treads. Then we've got more, um, more fairing pieces, some covers, and more plates. It's cool, really exciting stuff. And you know what? That's not all because I just realized that after I've set everything up, there's a whole bag of um, unused pieces and I think I'm pretty sure that these are spare pieces. Um, in the past, I've had to order spare pieces for my We Do 2 and EV3 kits uh, in case things get lost or broken. Um, but this looks like it's got pieces from every compartment in here. Uh, so I've got plenty of spares. This is really good value. So anyway, that's our first um, unboxing and uh, setting up of our Spike Prime kit. Um, uh, I can't wait to start experimenting with this and playing with it a little bit further. I want to check out all the motors, all the sensors uh, and all the possibilities with these new pieces as well. So um, if you're interested, uh, definitely follow us on Facebook or Instagram and I will see you next time.